It's either John or Josh. So I'm back where I started. Do you think they're like robots? This guy might be, yeah. <laughs> Justin got that one from. Ah! What is up, guys? Welcome to this episode. I'm Lucky Bob. Yeah. Today, we're seeing if Justin can solve five extreme riddles. What's this? Steven was walking along a river. Okay. He, he saw a scientist on the riverbank. Was that me? Uh, what? He was poisoning the water. Stop it. What are you doing? The scientist poured a powerful sleeping potion into the river. Huh? One drop can put an elephant to sleep. Huh? Strong stuff. Stephen rushed to the city to warn everyone. Save everybody, Stephen. But the scientist caught him. He yeeted Stephen. He brought Stephen Ooh. to his island on the river. Stephen needs to escape and warn the city. There are three possibilities. Uh. First, a bridge. Okay, okay, that seems reasonable. Not so fast. The scientist guards are patrolling it. Oh, they look tough, bro. Yeah. Second, another bridge. <laughs> Careful, Stephen. A hungry lion is guarding it. Rawr. Or the third option, a boat. A boat. Okay, that sounds pretty good. But there's danger everywhere. Little crocodiles. There are savage crocodiles in the river. Crocodilians. They can flip the boat and eat Stephen. Don't. Stephen managed to escape and warn the city. How did he do it? Which way did he choose? Okay. <laughs> now, guys, this is going to be a real fun video. I have five different riddles that I'm going to see if Justin can solve. And if he can solve most of them, so three, four, or five out of them, I have a big prize for you. I, I already got the answer, bro. All right. I drank the milk power up to get my brain big. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, but that wasn't one of the options. My brain's max power, dude. You have to pick one of these options. I, know what, he said. I know what he did. What? He went the lion. He said, <laughs> And then the lion became his friend, and then he rode off on the lion into the sunset. Um, I think the lion probably would have eaten Ooh. him. Wait a minute, Adam. I'm pretty sure I know the answer, but this one seemed a little bit too easy. A little, little bit too easy. Really? Now, guys, play along. See if you can beat Justin and actually outsmart him. I bet the guards almost look a little bit like you. So what Steven might have done is say, you want some milk? <laughs> And then tricked the guards and ran past them. I, I think, mean, I think I know the answer, but could it be that easy, bro? We could act it out and it's see. It's a little baby, little baby mo. Oh, you want? Let, let, let's pretend, Justin, Steven, you're on the island. I'm the guard. You got to get past me. Hey, you want some milk? <laughs> Do. He for his life. Uh, so guys, you have to pick one of the three options. Either the bridge to the lion, the bridge to the guards, or take a boat with a bunch of crocodiles. I think there. it's the boat, bro. I think I'm gonna lock that in, bro. Okay, why would the boat be the answer? Because, first off, crocodiles can't flip over a boat. Everyone knows that. <laughs> Silly. Hey, second, rewind. Beep, beep, beep. Back it up. The scientists pour stuff in the water that puts people to sleep. The crocodiles will be snoozing. Oh, all right. Let's see what the answer is. I'm a genius, dude. There's no way I got this wrong. There's no way. But this is the first riddle. It's the easiest one. Yes, so. guys. The riddles are going to get harder and harder. Okay. <gasps> Let's go. Steven chose the ball. My brain is huge. The crocodiles would be sleeping, bro. They uh, sounded dangerous, right? But remember the sleeping hey, potion. Hey, you snooze, you lose. They be sleeping, bro. All the crocodiles were sleeping because remember the scientists poured in sleeping potions. Let's go. Okay, riddle number two. A criminal was hiding from the cops. Hey, yo. Okay. <laughs> okay, they were hiding. He'd been on the run for ages. Okay, he's he's like robbing the bank. A detective was on the case, but this criminal was like a ghost. Huh? One day, an undercover agent called in with info about the criminal. He was in a small village living with a fake family. Okay, this one is getting complicated. The undercover agent said they saw the robber living with a fake family? Exactly. Okay, okay. They were just actors. We got actors? After a few days, the detective found two suspects. Okay. Mr. Jackman said they've been in that house for ages. Okay. He's a middle school teacher. Okay, oh, so, okay, so, hey, back this up. This guy, the robber, is either Mr. Jackman or Mr. Darling, and now we're hearing the stories that alibi 
hide the excuses of wh who he is. Exactly. So one of these people is actually the criminal. All right, let's go. Let's hear Mr. Jackman's story. All right, so Mr. Jackman said they'd be living in that house for ages. He's a middle school teacher. He's definitely not the criminal. Okay, middle school teacher, huh? Mr. Darling said he didn't know anything about the criminal. Okay. He and his family had never even gotten a parking ticket. Okay, what does that have to do with anything? The detective had an idea. He asked to see their family photos album. Which family is fake? How am I supposed to know based on these photos? Now, you might want to rewind and see maybe what were the families eating. Were yeah. there any clues? That's what I was looking at. <laughs> that was the most important clue. So here, they got some cupcakes. She got some Kool-Aid. Would a criminal eat Kool-Aid and cupcakes? I don't know. Do you That's eat Kool-Aid and cupcakes? I think it might. I eat the cupcakes. I eat the Kool-Aid and the cupcakes. Stop it! You're messing me up. I'm thinking already it's him. Really? Because the Kool-Aid man helped me break out when I get grounded. The Kool-Aid man? Yeah, he helped me bust through the walls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Now, let me remind you, Justin, if you get more than half of these riddle right, you get a nice prize. I want a nice prize. So, really focus. You got to get this I'm one focused. right. I'm focused. I'm focused, bro. Let me think. Now, I noticed a pattern. Everybody in this family drinking something different. She got Kool-Aid. He got some tea or something. She got orange soda. Soda pop. Oh, maybe she uses that orange juice to dye his hair orange. Maybe. Oh, because a criminal might a, dye their hair. Fake identity. What are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I'm just kidding. What are you trying to say? Nothing. Okay. Now wait, listen. Now they're not eating their vegetables, bro. You notice that? Oh yeah, the dad and the mom are not eating the salad. That's a bad boy right there. Hmm. I'm thinking it might be him. Okay. Now let me go look over here. Now here, everybody drinking water and. They're eating spaghetti with some meatballs. Now, do you think it's weird that the mom and the boy have the same color of shirt on, but the daddy has green? <laughs> Why would that be weird? You and your mommy wear the same clothes all the time. <laughs> Well, let's just, okay. I'm the hey, let's act this out. I'll wear what I want. So, okay. Baby Foxy will yeah. be the, the, the baby boy. Okay. I'll be the mom and you'll okay. be the dad. I'm the daddy. Do you feel like a criminal? No. <laughs> I'm smooth criminal. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Back off. What is this house? I'm trying help? to help you. He's not helping. All right, fine. I'm thinking meatballs, criminals. Oh, it rhymes. I don't know, bro. All right, now let me look at these, bro. Now let me think. Now remember, guys, these are the family photos that the detective asked to see. Wait, this is so confusing. Bro, hold on, hold on, hold up. I think it's got to be this guy. Because look. Look, these are just family photos. This was taken on different months. You know, they're chilling. Oh, right. Are those dates? Yeah, they're dates. What else do you think they are? Oh. Like 12, like December 21st. Oh, okay. So these photos were all taken on the same day. Impossible. Oh. Impossible. Impossible. Do you think maybe the dad came in and took all these photos so it looks like they're real, but they're actually just actors? I think he took these photos, yeah, on a green screen, bro, with his actor family. That bird is an actor. Wow. All right, let's see what the actual answer is. Did Justin get it right? I think that's what it is, man. So it wasn't the meatballs? It, it was meatballs, criminals. All right, let's see, guys. Will Justin actually get this right or will he get it wrong? Bro, I think I got this right, man. I think I got it right. First family doesn't look that happy, but they're real. Yeah, they are. Okay, let's go. Their photos were taken in different places. All on the same day, bro. That's yeah. Not, not possible. Well, same date Photoshop fail. Wow. Okay, so Justin's two out of two, but we got three left. So you could still lose. I can't. <laughs> Detective Brown sent off the ambulance. Okay. In it, the unconscious CEO of a major company. Huh? Okay. The detective found a note with a number on the CEO's desk. A number? He put it in his pocket. Okay, hold on. Let me get this straight. This is a detective. The guy in the ambulance who was passed out was a CEO. CEO of a big company. Okay, so some super powerful guy, and he found a note with a number on it in his office. Okay, yep. okay, I'm following. Then he questioned the staff. 
Okay, I'm following. Okay. I came into his office once to sign some papers, said okay. John. A likely story, John. I was late today. I didn't even see our CEO. Okay. He sent me to another office across town. I spent the whole day there, okay. said Josh. Okay. So here's our three suspects. The detective looked at the note again. Okay. One, two, three, one. That's my Roblox Ooh. password. I wouldn't say that on camera. How did he get my Roblox <laughs> password, bro? How did he get it, bro? Well, now everyone's gonna hack you. Wait, what? <laughs> don't hack me, don't! Uh, Foxy can edit that out. Okay, yeah, Foxy said I will edit that out to me. I, I will definitely edit that out. Hey, yo, okay, the note says one, two, three, one, bro. He knew who had committed the crime. What? Who? What? Okay, now this one. <laughs> this is tricky. So let me just do a quick recap. The CEO got Oof. oofed. But before he got oofed, he wrote down that secret code, 1231. And now the detective is able to just crack the case. Bro, call me sticky because I'm stuck. <laughs> call me sticky because this one's tricky. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know, dude. Oh, actually, I do know. CEO left it right here, dude. Easy. One, two, three, one. It's John, dude. You think it's like an eeny, meeny, <laughs> miny, mo type thing? <laughs> Yeah. You want to lock it in? I don't. I actually don't know, guys. Now, let us know in the comments if you're able to get this one because I'm actually stumped. I'm not even kidding. Now, let me go back and look at the stories one more time, bro. Okay. Now, on this one, I mean, these are supposed to get harder and harder. I'm only going to give you one solid guess. Okay. So, you really got to be sure. All right. That's all I need. I came into the office once to sign some papers. That sounds reasonable. I was late today. I didn't even see our CEO. Okay. That sounds possible. He sent me to another office across town. I spent the whole day. That also sounds possible. How am I supposed to get the answer from this, bro? Oh, I don't want to give you any hints. <laughs> I'm thinking because the eeny, meeny, miny, mo technique is John. Because it's one, two, three, one. You know what I mean? Right. But I'm thinking this might be the biggest brain. Hold on. Let me get some more. <laughs> <laughs> So you can drink Milky, but I can't? Yeah, you're not allowed to. Because Milky's my friend. I don't actually drink him. I just get him the power up. I, I just went huge brain. This might be the hugest brain play I've ever done, bro. What's your answer? What if this means 1231 p.m.? So it's like he wrote down, like, I got a meeting at 1231. Lunchtime. And who was late for a meeting? Otto was the only one who said they had a meeting. But this might be some reverse psychology. Might be Josh, because he's the only one I don't suspect. Maybe this is an address. One, two, three, one Sesame Street. You know what I mean? Yeah, and wait. That, and he went across the street to go to uh, an office, right? Yep. Or what if you add up the numbers and it tells you like the letter of an alphabet? Are you serious? How did I not think of that, bro? One plus two. Okay, so... <laughs> Not sure. What's one plus two? Okay, I'm a lock in. Oh, I know. Mm, you gotta explain why, though. I don't know. I just didn't <laughs> want to do the math. Well, okay. If you take one plus two, that's three. Plus three, that's six. Plus one, that's seven. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. What's the next letter? H. So maybe the name has the letter H in it. So it's either John <laughs> or Josh. So I'm back where I started. <laughs> You trying to mess us up, man. I don't know. Stop, bro. Detective Justy, Detective Foxy, we're on the case, bro. What is the answer? Guys, this is by far one of the harder riddles. Okay, this got way too hard, way too fast, bro. I really don't know. I'm going to go with John, bro. All right, I'm Justin. Gonna, I'm going to go with John. Going to lock in John for the eeny, meeny, miny, mo uh, that's, strategy. That's the clearest. One, two, three, one. That's the clearest one I could do, bro. Okay, let's see what the answer is. Dude, also, if we do your method, add them. So seven. One, two. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All signs point to John. All right, here we go. Let's go. Lock it in, John. I know you did it, John. This was a crazy riddle, I guys. Know, I know you did it, John. Here's the answer. It's a clue. Okay. Of John. One, two, three, one. What? Otto is the criminal because if you take the first letter of each of the numbers, it spells out Otto. I was so close. Dude. I got the one, two, three, one. <laughs> I just, I misinterpolated <laughs> the message. So Justin got that one wrong. Ah! Next riddle. Okay, guys. Hey, I might have taken an L on that last one, but I'm going to get this one, bro. Okay, pop star Sarah. Okay. Pop star Sarah. Okay, she's a pop star. Bought three ancient vases. Okay, 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 nice. She got them off a collector. She bought them from a collector, okay. He said the vases were thousands of years old. Wow, that's really old, okay. The first was from ancient Greece. It was made for a wealthy Greek. 
Okay. The second was from ancient Rome. Okay. It belonged to an empress. It was stolen what? from her palace. The third was made by an ancient Chinese master. Okay. So all three of these vases are super old, guys. Okay. Sarah couldn't wait to show off three new vases. Yeah, that's a flex, honestly. Time to throw a party. Okay, she threw a party. Okay. Wow, so these are thousands of years old. She invited all her friends. Wow, she got a lot of friends. And her nemesis, Alexa, what? of course. What? Who's that? Alexa would be so jealous. Alexa is the one, the person in the phone. Alexa showed up in a beautiful dress. Okay. She wasn't impressed with the vases. Why not? One of the vases is fake. How? Which vase is fake? What? Okay, so guys, apparently all three of these vases were supposed to be thousands of years old and super valuable and super rare. But Alexa came in and said, I know one of these is super fake. Mm. How did she know? Well, I know. That's obvious because she's Alexa. She, Alexa, please turn up the volume. You think Amazon? I think it's the Alexa answer? Jeff Bezos. <laughs> Alexa does everything. Um, Hold I mean, on. there might be some clues hidden throughout. Maybe it's her friends. Hold on. I don't know. This one's too hard, bro. I don't know about ancient history. I don't even know what happened last week. Right? It's probably, hold on. I mean, it's probably some history like this. Like, it belonged to an empress or something. And I don't know where from Rome or Greece or something. Right? I mean, this something, was made thousands of years ago. Some history, bro. It's probably like they weren't allowed to draw these types of birds or something. Then that's the answer. Mm, maybe there's a clue at the party. Was it's anyone party. eating something suspicious? All right, hey, let me check. That's a good idea, bro. She yeah. juggling. She juggling. I yeah, know don't do that mm. with thousand-year-old vases. Dude, Sarah. Bro, she's the fake one, dude. Oh, my goodness. What? I'm so smart, bro. Okay, here's Sarah's friends. Do you think they're like robots? This guy might be, yeah. <laughs> Because he got an iPad, yeah. <laughs> well, you have an iPad. No, it's your mom's iPad. I know, but you're not a robot. That's what you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, maybe there's a hint on the balloon. I'm going to say, so this is the collector who sold her the vases, right? Right. Maybe there's a clue, <laughs> maybe there's a clue on him. What's so funny? What, like, what is funny? Explain. No, what is your idea? I said maybe there's a clue on him. Why is that funny? Where would the clue be? Oh, oh, wow. <laughs> you staring at his booty. Like, that's can you was... just stop? Well, that was your idea. My idea is there's a hint on him. Why don't you laugh and start thinking about the booty? So you think maybe it's like on his wrist? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Or maybe he had to do his haircut. All right, so what is the what is suspicious about the collector? Guys, see if you can solve this riddle. It's really tough. Okay, he's got a wristband. This is the collector, the guy that sold Sarah the, the ancient vases. The wristband is the same color as two of the vases, but not this one. <gasps> hey, yo. But the guy's hair is kind of similar in color to them as well. Yeah, but not this one. Right. That's This is looking like the different one. Okay, now something a little bit sus is these little aeroplane. Is that sus? I don't know. It looks like emojis, man. I think they had emojis back then, like thousands of years ago. Yeah, I think they had airplanes back then. How else would they have gotten to Disneyland? That's what I'm saying. How would they have built the ancient city of Greece without Teslas? Planes. Because you put, yeah, Greece. Greece. <laughs> when I eat French fries, I get covered in grease. And the French fry potatoes get flown. You're close. On an airplane into the grease. You are close with french fries, I think. This is the color of french fries, bro. Yeah. This looks like some sort of mythical creature. I don't know if there's a real bird that looks like that. Do you think maybe that's sus? A little bit sus. Let me look at the last one. Looks yeah. like a, a claw crab or yeah, something. Yeah, looks like some sort of Mr. Krabs. Mr. Krabs wasn't around back then. This might have been made by Mr. Krabs. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm stalling. I don't know what the answer is, if I'm being honest. I mean, I think we gotta lock in an answer here. See if you can beat Justin. He's gonna make his guess. I'm gonna ask Kenny, cause Kenny, Kenny's not a vase, but you know, he holds stuff. Right? What, what? what do you think, Kenny? I'm leaning towards this one, cause these ones have handles, so you can grab them. Uh huh. You can't, how'd you pick this one up? That's true. Oh, you wanna lock that in? Yeah. The Mr. Krabs vase? Yeah. All right. I think I have to. Guys, Justin's going to lock in the third vase, the blue one. Let's see what the answer actually is. Guys, let us know. It's just because the other ones look similar. You know what I mean? They look right. similar, and this one looks different. After that last auto one, my brain feels like it's in a deep fryer. Yeah. Wait a minute. Fries, French fries, grease. You want to switch your answer to the middle one? Grease. 
Nah, uh, you're trying to trick me. All right, here we go. You're Let's see what me. the answer is. Let's go. Let's go. Now remember, these vases were made thousands of years ago. Okay. The fake one was the first one because it has airplanes on it. Oh, whoa, 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 and airplanes whoa, whoa. weren't invented. Yes, out they were. No, they didn't. Yes, they were. They didn't have airplanes thousands of years yes, ago. Yes, they did. No. Yes. No, it was like a hundred years ago when the first airplane ever was flown. That's not true. Tesla's been around for millions of years. No, Ooh. it hasn't. Wow. You tricked me. Guys, were you able to get that one? I tried to help you. You threw me off the scent. You got me thinking about French fries. Now I'm smelling French fries <laughs> on the scent of the fries. Well, that means that Justin has gotten too correct, too wrong. We have one more to see if he can actually win the prize. Okay. It all comes down to this, the room. The final riddle. The room. Let's get out of the classroom. Okay, this guy is pretty cool. He got a skateboard. Yeah, pretend you're him. I got a skateboard. We're on holiday, remember? Uh -huh. He's going into a barn. Okay. Imagine you're in a room with some animals. <laughs> There's a rabbit <laughs> holding a carrot. Is that Bugs Bunny? Maybe. From Space Jam. A pig eating food. Okay. And a chimp holding a banana. Okay, he's holding a banana, okay. Which animal is the smartest? What? So, you walk into a barn, there's three animals in front of you. You got a bunny, a piggy, and a monkey, and they're eating different things. Which animal is the smartest in the barn? It doesn't make any sense, bro. I just, I, what, am I supposed to, what am I supposed to be, a, a biologist? Now, I would say Bugs Bunny is pretty smart. He played in Space Jam, he's very smart. Right? I have actually heard that pigs are very, very smart animals. I have heard that. Do you think you are smarter than a pig? Do you think that the pig is smarter than the bunny? You just gave it away right there. What? <laughs> that you're not smarter than a pig? Is this riddle really trying to say which animal and they're saying this guy is an animal, bro? I don't know. Are they? I think that might be the answer. That might be a trick question. But how do I know this guy's smart? He could be not very smart at all. Well, you haven't even thought about the monkey so far. That's because I know his intellect is off the chart. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bananas are delicious. I learn everything from Curious George. Right. I'll ask you again, which animal is the smartest? I mean, I'm tempted to say the monkey, but it has to do with the food, bro. Because carrots give you good eyesight. Maybe. So that raises your IQ. How much you let me think? I can barely hear myself think. All right. All right. Over your idea. All right. I was going to give you a great idea, but okay. I think the riddle wants me to say this person. Because humans are, were technically animals. I mean, maybe it would help. I'm a beast. I'm an animal on the basketball court. <laughs> maybe it would help if you put yourself inside the minds of an animal. Okay. Like, what would it be like to be a monkey? How smart would you be? What would it be a like genius. to be a rabbit? Genius. What Bugs about a piggy? Bunny. Piggy, I've heard pigs are very, very smart. And I will say, the pig is the only one eating its food. This guy just holding his carrot, not very smart. Or on the other hand, maybe they are smart because they're saving it for when they're hungry. Mm. I don't do that. I just eat food if it's in front of me. I think you got to lock in the answer. I think I, I, I don't think I got it. I think I'm going to think about this one because all, um, all the marbles are on the table right i'm gonna pick up the prize i'm not gonna show you guys what it is yet but i know justin's gonna like this prize the answer is either the monkey or the person himself i think it wants me to say the person but how do i know the person's smart bro do you think that we are smarter than monkeys i think one of us is smarter than a monkey i don't i'm not gonna say who i don't you shouldn't say that about yourself what? i think you're smarter than a monkey yeah i do too <laughs> Well, so, uh, now I said who it was. You think I'm not as smart as I didn't say that. I never said that. I just said only one of us. I didn't, oh, say, that. I didn't say that, bro. Okay. It's not your fault. I mean, I was, I was raised by monkeys. Right. So. Yeah, that's true. You were in the jungle book. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, like, it's not your fault. Yep. <laughs> it's either the monkey or the person, and I don't know. Would it help you to either have a skateboard or a banana? Both at the same time. You want me to go get you a skateboard and a banana? Yeah. All right, I'll be right back. Yeah, thanks, Aiden. Thanks. Okay, guys, I have Justin's skateboard, which does not have wheels. Yes, it does. TikTok. And a banana. Okay. So, hopefully this will help him solve the riddle. Okay, easy. There's no way I mess this up now. Wait, what are you doing? I'm gonna do a trick on my skateboard, show everyone. I think that's a bad idea. You're not that good at skateboarding. Don't tell me what to do. I got a banana. So this is as if he was the human I got with the skateboard. And human slash monkey with the banana, because those are the two I'm considering. Okay. <laughs> Did that help you get the answer? <laughs> 
answer. Wait, that helped you? I got the answer. What is it? It's a monkey. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why is it the monkey? Because, genius. Why? Monkey will take the banana peel, uh huh, throw it on the ground, and the human will slip on it on their skateboard. Oh! Just like in Mario Kart. Okay, you wanna lock in the monkey? Lock it in. All right, let's see what the answer is. Gotta be the monkey, dude. Unless it's a trick question, I would say between these three animals, I would expect the monkey to have the highest IQ. That would be really embarrassing if you just did all that and got the wrong answer. I got the right answer, dude. Wow. The answer is, you're the smartest animal in the room. Wait, that's me? Yeah, keep going. It's the boy! Humans are also animals! I knew it! And the prize was gonna be a king-size milky chocolate bar. What? But instead, I actually get to eat it because you did not get that. Like last heck one right. you are, Adam. No, this is mine now. Like heck you are. Damn, look some milk. Wait. Ah! 